everybody, welcome back to Girl Carry Trucker. I-39 northbound, mile marker 183, Wisconsin. Actually, 39, 90, 43 run together through here, uh, alternate 43 run together through here. This is my first time in Wisconsin in a long time. up from another terminal and gonna go up here catch 90 run across going to Minnesota been even longer since I've been to Minnesota I ain't worried about the scale. I can't scale this. Got this, picked up this load, I pulled onto a cat scale. JB Hunt, I hope you don't think you're gonna cut in front of me, you piece of shit. JB just had to cut right in front of somebody, such a hurry. Wisconsin doing like Kentucky and allowing 24 hour parking in the uh, scale houses of Rest Haven. Yeah, JB must have got a green light. JB better hope I don't get in front of his stupid ass. Oh no, JB bypassing the scale. Nope, I got a red light. But that says bypass. I'm going in. like the bypass lane. They said bypass, but I got a red light on my pre-pass. So better safe than sorry, I'll just go on through it. Yeah, 
JB, I catch JB, I'm gonna freaking mess his day all up. I don't know if they're considered James Hill or Beloit. Yeah, it's like they're in the process of cutting beans. I've been in the liquid sunshine pretty much all day today. They were calling. I know I had an alert for extreme to severe thunderstorms today and tomorrow in central Illinois. I'm in Wisconsin now, I'm still getting the rain. Stopped in Rochelle, Illinois. I-39 exit 99, grabbed some go-go juice. So I should be good on up to unload tomorrow and then both to get me a backhaul out of either Hodgkin, Chicago Heights, Griffith. Man, we got some freaking hurry ass up to the drivers in a hurry. Yeah, gotta pass me to turn your brakes on or hit your brakes.
expect, except for sporadic moments, the traffic's not being real bad. Been a few times it got a little heavy for a little bit. Generally it's thinned back out, not been too bad. Got up this morning. Stayed in Effingham, Illinois last night. All the delay getting loaded. It was about an hour and 45 minute drive to Effingham. I pulled into Effingham, only had about an hour left. So I went ahead and stayed at the Comfort Inn in Effingham last night. Got up this morning, walked across the parking lot to meet Mertz, had breakfast. I'll tell you, Neemark there in Effingham just ain't the restaurant it used to be. And I'll tell you, don't get the biscuits and gravy of the morning. Oh, they're edible, but oh, you'll be paying for it all day long. up here to unload, find out how true it is. I sent this back to send me a message and I sent them back out. Oh, hopefully tomorrow's not a very long unload. Send back something about supposed to use their air and they back it off or something. Something about using their air and then she said so they back it off. Well just because we use their air does not mean we're it's just backed off. They just may have their own blower system. I think I'd do a little video. Uh, if I've done a YouTube video in Wisconsin or Minnesota, I don't remember doing it so long since I've been up here. I don't believe I've ever videoed while I've been up here. Hopefully the weather's a little better tomorrow. I may video, do a little more video driving tomorrow. Coming out of Minnesota. going through uh, I should pass through Hudson, Wisconsin. about coming up here during the summer. Grandkids are getting old enough. About time to make plans to do that. Possibly 
doing a live video Saturday, finish up that model hopefully. Just a little bit of driving in 39 into Wisconsin. Appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next video.